Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use your program monitor. All right. The first time I learned this, I am so happy because for a long time, I've been editing using the long cut method. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So we are inside of the Adobe Premiere Pro. And to make sure that we are on the same workspace, we can go to editing workspace at the top, click on window workspaces, click on editing. Uh, first, let's go to the assets folder and uh, let's go to the assets folder inside of the project panel. Then drag a video to the program monitor. Say, for example, you want to do the sunset. Let's go to the uh, icon view. Okay. Now, if we want to add this clip on the timeline, there's a couple of ways to do that. All right. One way to do that is to drag this clip directly from the project panel going to the timeline by doing it by dragging it to the program monitor. So let's do that. So I'm dragging the 001 sunset to the program monitor. All right. So we have now I'm not yet releasing my mouse or left click. Uh, I'm still holding the, the click so we can insert the uh, video before. All right. I want to make it a little bit bigger. Let's try and make it a little bit bigger. I'm dragging down. All right. Now it's bigger. So let go to list view here. We go to video. Okay. All right. So to drag the video on the on the uh, timeline using the program monitor, we can just simply drag the uh, the, the, the 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 footage here and directly to the program monitor. So if you click on insert before, it will add the video clip, the 001 sunset to the uh, before of the uh, playhead. All right, so I just add it in here. Cool. All right, let's undo it. Now, if you want to add, say for example here, all right, let's undo girl. So if you want to, and let's choose the 002 hawk. So if you want to add this, all right, so if we want to add this, we click on um, insert before, we can click on insert, we can replace it, we can overwrite, we can do insert after, all right? Uh, what's this? On top, let's try to make it a little bit larger again, all right, so you can see. All right, so let's try to add a sunset on the girl. So I'm just dragging the uh, footage from the uh, source monitor, uh, from the uh, project panel, Dragging, let's see. Now, if you go click on this, we can insert. So there's a playhead. We can insert before the footage. If you release it, the sunset was added before the girl. All right, that's how you use it. Okay, let's undo it. And if we want to drag this again to the uh, replace it, let's try. Boom. So instead of the girl, the girl was gone and it replaces the uh, sunset it was replaced the footage all right so let's undo it again all right control z and then let's try to um a uh, replace already we can override let's try to override what will happen so whatever footage command z command z okay let's try to uh do the other option again so let's try to drag this footage here okay let's drag the footage here Okay, so let's try the override. So as you can see, as you can see on the uh, timeline panel, there's the, the blue, the blue uh, playhead is over in the middle of my uh, last clip on the timeline. So if we're going to click on this and release the footage to override, see what's happened. So it's overridden the video clip that's on under. So it was the, uh, the, the clip under the frame, uh, the, the clip was replaced or overridden all right now if we want to do another one so let's try to drag it here let's command z all right and then let's try the other option so insert boom it was inserted in the middle the girl was split and then we insert this uh, sun in the middle all right that's how you do it now let's command z to undo it and then we can try to see for another option let's overlay on top of that so if you click on overlay, you can still have the the old uh, you can still have the uh, the first footage. It was overlay on top of the uh, footage that you just released into. All right, 
Let's see if there is, okay, command Z to undo it. Let's see if there's another option. So we already insert before, overlay, insert, replace, override, and insert after. All right. Mm, okay, I think we already know this. So let's, let's go. All right. So as you can see, uh, it, it acts like a program monitor. It's, 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 there's a similarities with the, with the source monitor, but we, already, we also have your marker. All right. Oh, same letter keys, M for marker. But in this, uh, program monitors actually work on the timeline itself so if we click on this if we try to press M and it will mark this the marker shows here all right the marker shows at the top of the timeline unlike in the program and like in the source monitor if we click if we put mark on this it will just add it inside of the clip so let's say if we go to the uh, inside of the uh, unlike in the source monitor if we add if we add marker, the marker will add it inside of the clip. Unlike in the program monitor, if we add marker, okay, I'll put marker here. The marker is added on top of the timeline, all right? So see the difference, okay? So if you move this, if you move this, right, the, the, the marker is already inside of the clip, all right? But if, but the, the, the marker here at the top, it's not moving unless you move it, all right? So I'm going to command Z, command Z, command Z. All right, what is this? Boom. So this one, the in point and the out point. So it's highlighted. So if you're going to export this, this part is the only one we're going to export. So that's the purpose for that. So command Z, command Z. And we have the uh, go to in, go to out, the play, the export frame, the lift, the extract, the comparison view, and so on and so forth we have also we can also drag this number the timeline will also make some changes so this one if you're gonna fit fit the screen but if you're gonna go to 10 percent it will show you 10 percent of the uh, of the of the uh, of the program monitor click on 25 percent and 50 percent then we go to 75 percent then we go to 100 percent and just click h h for the hand to move it drag it all right where you want to see it all right that's how you that's how you do it okay i'm dragging it all right let's go click on fit all right so we're able to see the whole uh the whole uh picture all right now what is this one for this is for playback resolution all right so remember that this will not affect the uh it will not affect the current so if you exported the footage it will not affect the uh the 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 the, the, the final the final output all right this is only this is only uh responsible for playing back the video inside of premiere pro so we normally use this because um if to put some less work in the computer okay i make it one fourth resolution so it's gonna a little bit blurry but in the computer it make it a little bit faster because the uh, computer is trying to you know work less because it's playing uh, a low quality video but Remember that it will not affect your footage if you exported it or if you know you, if you're creating your final video, it will not affect it. All right. So here, full. This is gonna be will play. Full will play the full resolution if you play it. All right. It's very sharp, but it's really taking a lot of um, power uh, on your computer. All right. So if you have um, if you have a computer that can handle this this performance, if you, if you have a computer that can handle this, you can do that. But if you have a slower computer, you can click on one port and then you can just play it again. This is only for playback resolution. All right. All right. So remember for pause and playback will not affect your final export. All right. This is only effect to play your video temporarily inside Premiere Pro to make it a, a little bit faster. All right. And then once done with the changes, save it and you're done. All right, that's it. That's uh, how you how you use your program monitor. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.